Not the health, baby. Mm. Strikes again. Hey guys, welcome Ooh. back to another video. Welcome, it's a mukbang. If you're new to the channel and you're thinking, what are they talking about, what's a mukbang? It's basically an eating show. We're, so we're gonna be eating our breakfast with you guys this morning and talking about a whole hoop, hip, hoop, <laughs> heap of stuff. <laughs> What do we got? We got oatmeal and bananas and yeah. golden flaxseed meal and cinnamon and you got some Brazil nuts yes. there. Yes, so that's our breakfast. We're rationing this Brazil nuts because we don't have enough at the moment. So I'm, I'm giving taking them, them to my lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you guys eating? Yes. Grab yourself a meal and eat with us. It may be breakfast, lunch or dinner for you, snack time, whatever. And let us know in the comments below what you're eating. Yes, we want to hear what you've got on your plate. We're just going to take a bite. Don't mind us. Mmm. Mmm. We love our breakfast. It's probably our favourite meal of the day. Oatmeal and fruit. Can't go wrong. It's like dessert for breakfast. Exactly. Isn't it? It's so yummy. So sweet and delicious. Uh huh. Mm. So, last video, uh, we also did a mukbang and we were doing like a TVC news desk style mm. and we asked you guys to let us know what you thought about it you loved it and so we're doing another one yeah and you've sent us through a heap of stories we've got, so a, we got lot a lot to, to get cover, through we? we've got our notes in front of us so if we're looking down that's what we're looking at mm. very first story that we're going to cover today is from the channel BE plus three and they're a family channel and they were talking about possibly going vegan. And they've got almost 350,000 subscribers, so big reach. And they did a great job at telling their audience about the documentary film, What the Health, that's now on Netflix. So we've taken a few clips out of their video. We're gonna have a watch and respond to. Question, are we going vegan? I don't know if we'll go whole vegan, but just gotta, after watching that documentary, we gotta do something. You wanna tell them what it's called? I talked about it on Twitter, but it's some It's called people... What the Health. And it really changed. I mean, I don't eat a lot of meat as it is, but we do don't eat a lot lie. of chicken. Oh yeah, we do eat a lot of chicken. <clears throat> I think you but, eat more red meat than I do though. Yeah, this is such a common reaction. Isn't it? Like the majority of people say, I don't eat a lot of meat. But the thing no. is, there's only seven and a half billion people, but we're killing 150 billion animals every year for yeah. food worldwide alone. So someone's, someone's, eating eating just, yeah, someone's eating more than just a little bit. Yeah, you know, everyone's yeah. eating more than just a little bit. Yeah, and the other thing is, it doesn't matter if it's chicken or beef or fish or whatever. You know, it's still the flesh of another being. That's so right. It's, so when we say meat, meat, it includes the fish and yeah. the chicken, the, the white. The and color the red. doesn't matter. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, like a burger, but even regardless, I, after watching that, it just kind of changed my views on a lot of that stuff. Which so. I thought. Would never, that's why I wanted to watch it with you because you don't ever watch that kind of stuff hmm. and, but, you know, and I'm not the one to watch Daddy, these kind because I can't do I can't do the really graphic documentaries you know what I'm talking about like really really graphic and this was not graphic at all it was just more factual yeah that's interesting so the really graphic videos that she's talking about are the ones showing what happens to the animals yeah the and, animal slaughter footage and yeah. the factory farm footage and that is factual, like that's not made up. No. That, you know, animal rights activists have gone in there, they've put cameras in there, and they're filming the truth. That's so right. that is factual, it's just not like, you know, when you think factual, you think kind of science and yeah. the health side, but. I think Brittany means it's not palatable. Exactly, and this <laughs> is. If you read between the lines. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and this is the thing, Which Brittany, it's not, when you see it for the first time. Oh my God, you know, it's that footage is shocking. It's shocking. It's that footage that makes that helps yeah. people make the connection between who they're eating. Yeah. No one wants to support that. No. You know. And you have to ask yourself, if it's too difficult to watch, if it's not good enough for your eyes, then why is it good enough for your stomach? If you can't watch it, you shouldn't be eating it. And even if you can sit through and watch it, you still shouldn't be eating it. So it is important to watch those films, as difficult as it is. You know, mm. that's but good often... on you guys, Brittany and Ian, for sitting down oh, and watching fantastic. this documentary because that is the first step: yes. educating yourself, making yourself aware. Mm. So many people shy away from watching yeah. that because they know they almost know subconsciously that if they watch it, they'll be exposed to the information that will make them want to change. Yeah. And people don't like change generally. So yeah. thumbs up to you guys for watching the documentary. Like more yeah, I mean, there was every stuff. every point they were talking about, there was facts to back it up, or or you know interviews to back it up i was like okay i have to watch this with ian i was like mm. Mm. this is a really good point people always ask us you know 
how, how do I change my partner? How do I get my partner on board? I want them to learn about what I've just learned about in terms of changing your diet. And we always say, watch things together. So this is a really great example of a couple sitting down and Brittany saying, look, Ian, let's watch this, you know? And it's often the wife or the woman, the girlfriend. Um, yeah, that typically kind of, speaking. Typically, yeah. you know, says, yeah. come on, come on, watch this documentary with me. Um, and Ian was very impressed with the number of scientific facts that were presented yes. in What the Health. And if you want to verify any of those facts for yourself after you've watched the film, you just go to the What the Health website and there's a facts page in the menu and all of the facts with the timestamps at which they appear mm. in the uh, film are listed there and you can click on the hyperlink to the study and you can read it for yourself. So It's an incredible page. I should never say never, but maybe try being vegetarian for a little while. I don't know. We just yeah, have to make some sort better. of food lifestyle changes or yeah. something. I couldn't figure out what to have for breakfast this morning. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing, we went vegetarian first too, yeah. but it was because we didn't know about the cruelty in the dairy and egg industries. As soon as we educated ourselves on that and realized that the cruelty in the dairy and egg industries are uh, worse mm. than that in the meat industry, we're like, well, why would, and also from a health perspective, yeah. dairy is like liquid meat, yeah. uh, and eggs are one of the highest cholesterol containing foods, and cholesterol you know, causes heart disease, our leading cause of death. So we're like, okay, so from a health and an ethical uh, standpoint, and environmental, when you watch That's Cowspiracy right. on Netflix, another documentary we recommend you watch, yeah. you're just like, well, vegetarian doesn't make sense. No, no, So, but it's great that they're even thinking down this path. That's yes. really, really good. Um, and Ian said, you know, I don't know what to have for breakfast. And this is the thing, people watch a documentary and they're like, yeah, this is great. Mm. Now what? What's the practical side? Here you go, <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> We've so, also got a recipes playlist, which we'll link down below. Yeah. What I ate in a day videos, which we'll link down below. Yeah, yeah. You, you've got to just um, then look at the practical side. You've got to go shopping and think about this way, guys. The majority of food that you eat already is plant-based, mm. right? So you've only got meat, dairy, eggs, uh, honey. Right? But everything else is already plant-based. So you've got toast, put some avocado on your toast. Um, or you've got jam or peanut butter or whatever. I think he ends up having peanut butter on toast. I think yeah. he said that's going to be a staple, which is yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's oatmeal, there's you know, plant uh, milks that you can put on your cereal. And I think Brittany said she's Pancakes. already using almond milk. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. So and there's that's... lots of options, but you just, you know, you've got to research what are you going to eat now. Yeah. Go to the grocery store and just stock up more on those plant foods. Yeah, and, and again, you could buy the same number of plant foods you're currently buying and then just substitute all of the animal products with the plant-based equivalents. So the, uh, there's, mm. you know, vegan cheeses and mm. meats and milks mm. and dairy products and, and what have you. Exactly. So you just buy all of those things. instead of the animal products and yeah. still make the same stuff. Exactly. And yeah. that, that's the easiest. Yeah, that's right. No, seriously, I recommend watching this documentary. If there's any documentary that you want to watch about health or food, watch this one. It's called What the Health on Netflix. So we love seeing so good. large channels <laughs> with a big reach yeah. encourage their audience to go and educate themselves just mm. like they have. I mean, that's how we change the world. Uh, fantastic. So thank you guys for sharing this with your audience. Um, now we got a message on Snapchat after this video was put out saying that unfortunately, um, Brittany got some, and Ian got a lot of hate and rubbish in the comments for their video, are we going vegan? And we see so, this a lot, don't we? When people try yeah. to make a positive lifestyle change to help their health, the lives of animals and the environment, yep. everyone who's not living that lifestyle, they sort oh, of take yeah. offense, don't they? <laughs> they because do. you know, so, well, what are you saying about my lifestyle? Yeah. You know, I'm a good person. Exactly. And Why I'm living is not cruel. Yep. Yeah, it is once you educate yourself. That's right. So people were dismissing the information in what the health, people were talking down to a vegan diet. Uh, they were saying it would be too hard, that Brittany wouldn't stick to it, especially with the kids. And some were even saying that they might even unsubscribe from her channel if they decided to go vegan. So that was a really strong reaction yes. that they got from their audience. And there was a lot of support too, but they were obviously taken aback. And then um, Brittany actually made a follow-up video addressing some of this and saying that, you know, they're not going vegan at the moment, but they're making healthy choices, you know, ma making healthy changes. So, yeah. so to Brittany and yeah. Ian, we would say, you've got to do more research, guys. Yes. So watch Cowspiracy, as I mentioned before, also on Netflix. Yes, by yeah. the same people who made what the hell? Exactly, and so, that's all about the environment. Mm. Now this is important because you guys have got three kids yeah. and 
they need a planet to grow up on, obviously. Just like we all do. We all do, right? So we need to start thinking about our food choices beyond just what it's doing to our own bodies, to mm. our health. What are the wider ramifications? What is this doing to the environment? Yeah. Uh, really, really, really important for everybody, especially if you've got the next generation in your hands. Exactly. And when you learn that greenhouse gas emissions from the animal agriculture industry are more than those from the entire transport sector combined, planes, trains, buses, cars, all of it, you think, wow. wow. So the next thing is to definitely get that education about the ethical side. Yeah. And there's a really short video, we're gonna link it down, the down below called Farm to Fridge. And it's only like 10 or 11 minutes and that gives you a good insight. I know it's graphic, but you need to realize that again, this is about more than just yourself and your health. There are other living beings um, in this equation. So yeah. it's really important to learn that. And especially going back to what you said before, if it's not good enough for your eyes, yes. then you have to ask yourself, why is it good enough for your stomach? You yes. have to sit there and watch it. You know, It's really important that we bear witness yeah. to what these animals are enduring on a daily basis. You know, 2,000 animals being slaughtered worldwide every second. We have to see what our dollars are paying for. Mm. It's really super easy. As Lucas said, just buy the alternatives for mm. dairy, meat and eggs. Everything that you're currently eating, you can still eat in the vegan version. Um, and what we're going to do is link down below for you guys a whole heap of resources, other family channels, mm. information about how to raise kids vegan, how to educate them, heap of information that's really going to help you out. Also, how to eat out. All that kind of stuff is linked down below yeah. in the description. And focus on the support that you're receiving and yes. not the negativity. Yeah, so Brittany and Ian, we're going to say, you know, follow your heart, mm. get the information, do what's right, and just kind of leave the negative, you know, bashing comments aside and focus on what you know is the right thing to do. That's right. Okay? So that's our response to that channel. Next up. <laughs> We've got Portia Diane Williams, an American television personality, model, actress, and singer. She has 3 million followers on her Instagram wow. account. And She's huge. She posted this. Confession. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm up for the challenge. I watched the What the Health and Cowspiracy on Netflix yes. the other day, and it took me over the edge. Now, this is what we're talking about. The both, you know, both are so powerful. I'm yes. so happy that she's promoting this. Yes. I had been contemplating making a serious lifestyle change because after turning 36, I made a promise to myself to treat myself better. Mind, body and soul, excuse me. You know, these days it's all about being thick and fine and body positivity. Well, I'm down for all of that, but what about the inside? Will I be fine after 50? This is so important. We say this all the time. It's what's going on inside that matters. That's mm. so important. I'm so happy she's made this connection. Mm. Yeah, and okay. starting to think about these things because everything gets a little, you know, you start to question things, <laughs> you know, mid thirties onwards. Yeah, well, it reminded me of change. the Bob Harper video, you yes. know, one of the fittest guys in America at 50 or 51, he has a heart attack. He looks great on the outside. There you go. You know, he's got a six pack, That's but right. he had a heart attack. Exactly. Or will I continue feeding this temple of mine food that's not made for it? Spot on, humans yep. are herbivores, not omnivores, you know, even though we behave like omnivores. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm now a vegan and Woo! I'm claiming it for my life. I mean, this is to three million people. That's amazing. I'm gonna to try to hold myself accountable. Wow, so many people shy away from that Porsche well mm. by sharing some of the journey with you all. That's the way to do it. Today, I'm headed to the grocery store with the mindset, eat to live, not living to eat. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And also live and let live. Yeah. My goal is simply that I'll have a better quality of life for a long time to come and a much older Porsche will thank 36 year old Porsche for saving her life. Yes, she will. This is so good. Please excuse any grammatical error. I'm hungry. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> okay. So this is the thing, if you're hungry, it means obviously you're not eating enough. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that so many people new to a vegan lifestyle or a plant-based diet make. They don't eat enough calories. And you can't let yourself get hungry because the world, the way it's currently set up, is not ideally set up for a vegan lifestyle at the moment. It will be in the future, but it's at the moment... It's not bad, but it's not Yeah, it's ideal. getting better, yeah. but it's not ideal. But what is ideal is it is set up for the convenience and... Uh, of animal products. Mm. They're everywhere mm. at, at a reach. Mm. So if you get hungry, you're gonna reach for what's convenient because you wanna satisfy that hunger. Mm. So don't let yourself get hungry, that's the key. Yeah. Eat as much as you care for of whole plant foods. Yeah. Or any type of vegan food. Or any type of vegan matter. food, exactly. Yeah. Till satiation, yeah. so you're not hungry. Yeah. So how good is that? Awesome. It's, it's amazing. Well done, Portia. We're so happy to three million people on Instagram. <laughs> That's like a dream come true. Again, the power of these documentaries being on Netflix, the mainstream is getting this information. Yes. 
Um, yeah. And then people so sharing happy. it on social media. This Very is good. what leaders do. Yes. Thanks, Portia. Yes. <laughs> Portia. Portia. <laughs> Very happy. Okay, next one is... Jessica Aravalo. See, I'll let him pronounce all the names. <laughs> 180,000 subscribers on YouTube and 2.6 million followers on Instagram. Another huge Instagrammer. Watched? What the hell? What the hell, baby? Mm. Strikes again. Now, she has actually already watched Earthlings in the past, so... Which is known as the vegan maker. This is the, the really most probably difficult video to watch. It's about the animal ethics. Mm. So she knows about the ethical side, um, which is really good that she knows about that, but she didn't go vegan after it. But now she also knows about the health side, so it's really good that she's got this information. Now, her video starts off amazingly. Really, really good. Really, really good. Here are some highlights. And then I watched this documentary, and it's called What the Health, and it's on Netflix. I highly recommend watching this documentary and you guys just have to watch it for yourself it's it like pisses me off and it just really sparked like a fire in me and a passion to talk about this um, on my channel and really start teaching you guys like real health so Jessica did a great vegan food haul she ate vegan for a day and her meals looked great they really did didn't they? they looked really good she did really well then she woke up on day two saying she decided to eat pescatarian instead, which is including fish and dairy. And she wants to do that for now and she might try being vegan later on in the future. After trying it for one day, it's not easy. And I don't think it's a smart decision in the middle of my prep. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go pescatarian, meaning I can still eat dairy and I can still eat um, anything uh, fish or seafood. And this is because Jessica is preparing for a bikini show and she's cutting, meaning she's not eating a lot of calories and she felt hungry, irritable and pretty crappy eating plant-based for a mm. day. So it's like 8.45 at night and me and Maggie have not went to the gym yet because we're both like really hungry and irritable. It's our first day of vegan diet. So this is extremely typical. We just saw it with Portia. We just saw it with Portia. People don't eat enough calories. And this is why we're always saying eat bigger meals and we're showing bigger meals. Because mm. um, Jessica said she ate just over a thousand calories by 8.45 p.m. So that's so, all day on just over a thousand calories. That is so little. I, <laughs> we'd die, we just, yeah. we couldn't. We couldn't survive like that. I mean, I eat at least 2000 calories a day. Okay, and I'm only five foot, I'm pretty small. Um, Porsche's working out a lot, not Porsche. Jessica. Jessica is working out a lot, so. And she looks taller than yourself. Yeah, right? she looks taller. So she did eat several meals throughout the day, which was really good. We just say, increase the, the portion size. You know, they were all quite small. Yeah. Um, and remember that animal products have more calories per bite yeah. than plant foods. And calories from animal products are utilized differently by the body than calories from plant foods. This is what and so many people miss. Yeah. They think, it's the same, whatever, I, the amount that I eat from a, an animal-based diet is the same as what I need to eat from a plant-based diet. No, it's different. And Jessica noticed it's the different. difference in her own she body, did. didn't she? She yep. said, I feel like uh, the plant foods are moving through my body more quickly. Yes. And of course, that's because plant foods contain fiber, whereas mm. animal products don't contain mm. any fiber at all. And fiber is what gets everything moving along. Yeah. She, kn I think she knows what's going on here. Um, okay. She acknowledged that she wasn't eating enough. Yes, she did. And it sounded, but yeah, it sounded like at the end of the day that she was going to prioritize her show and the prep for the show over applying what she knew, but she just found out about health. So she kind of prioritized the show yeah. at the end of the day. Um, but here's the thing. There are plenty of vegan bodybuilders that are eating, yeah. obviously, a vegan diet yeah. uh, and preparing for shows. <clears throat> So fish and dairy are just not necessary. They're not necessary. And it was excellent to see. Uh, Jessica is now subscribed to Naturally Stephanie. Mm. Yes. And um, we're also going to link some more um, vegan bodybuilding resources down below. Yes. So Naturally Stephanie is a wonderful example for Jessica to follow. Mm. And yeah, as you said, we're going to link heaps of other resources down below. So hopefully Jessica gets this. Come on, Yay. Jessica. Team Jessica. Next story off the TVC news desk, Shelby Church with <laughs> <Number> almost <three. laughs> Shelby Church with almost 1 million subscribers on here on YouTube tried eating vegan for a day. On one hand, it was great that Shelby showed that vegan alternatives do exist mm -hmm. and she did enjoy what she ate, which was really good and she shared that with her audience. Mm -hmm. So that's great. 
but there were some pretty obvious problems. Yeah. And a lot of vegans were pointing those out in the comments. Yeah. All right. To sum it up, Shelby thinks that a vegan diet is expensive, but she shopped at Whole Foods, which is pretty expensive. So. I mean, and an omnivorous diet is expensive at Whole Foods. Yeah. Whole Foods is great for some specialty items, definitely. So you can go there and buy a few things, but you don't need to do your whole grocery shopping no. uh, at Whole Foods as a vegan if you're finding that too expensive. And also, the more you base your diet around whole plant foods, the cheaper it's likely to be. Yeah. Because, um, you know, things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and some nuts and seeds, you know, some of those items are some of the cheapest calories on the planet. Mm. You know, particularly when you're talking about whole oats and, and rice and beans mm. and lentils, those mm. types of things. That's why it's often referred to as a peasant diet because some of the world's poorest people, uh, mm. you know, sustain themselves on these basic plant food staples because they're, you know, some of the cheapest calories on the planet. Yeah, so Shelby looked quite unsure about the food. And she sort of kept repeating that a bit, didn't she? You know, she did. hesitant and what have you. But it seemed like she didn't really know how to cook. That's yeah. the thing. Now, you don't have to be a chef to eat vegan, certainly not. But for example, um, she ranked making a packet of mac and cheese six out of 10 for difficulty. Mm. That's a sign we're thinking that she maybe eats out a lot or gets a lot of takeaway and she's just not used to kind of cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, that's something, uh, quick and easy that people whip together yeah, because it, you know, you just kind of put it in the very pot and easy stir and, it. Yeah, that's so right. I don't know why it was a six out of 10 for her. Mm. Um, she ultimately liked the food that she ate, which was excellent to see. Mm. And she also showed vegan alternatives, which was great to see. You know, yeah. she had lots of those products in there. But that apprehension was there, you know, yeah. she was scared of it, fearful, hesitant, <laughs> what will it taste like? You know, her fear of um, vegan mac and cheese and vegan cheese in general was extraordinary. You know, the way she picked up the mm, cheese in the, like, oh, in the Whole Foods is it, freaking you know? out. You know, mm. but what's weird and scary is what comes out of animals' bodies that we consider food, mm. not, not plants. Not plants. <laughs> plants are okay. Don't be scared of plants. So, at the end of that, she ended up saying that about 85% of vegans and vegetarians go back to eating meat. You know, kind of indicating that it's okay for me to do that and mm. it's okay for you to do that too, you know. Yeah. So that was pretty disappointing. Um, you know, the problem with these kinds of videos is that they can potentially do more harm than good. Mm. So on one hand, awesome exposing up to a million people mm. uh, about vegan food, plant-based alternatives for, you know, meat, dairy and eggs, all that type of stuff. Yeah. That's great. But they walk away with it's too expensive it was too hard and just and, you know, most, and people most people don't, don't do it follow through with it yeah, so, you know, so i don't have to either i can say i tried it and yeah. it didn't excuse me it didn't work for me yeah and i think when you know really large youtubers like uh, shelby make these videos i don't know if they don't realize the influence they have or if i don't know if they maybe they don't care they just think it's just another video but people are watching and people are influenced and you've got to kind you gotta of be careful i mean you've got to do your research first yeah right it's not just a diet it's about so much more yeah. than just your food. Watch, Watch some documentaries. That's it. What the Hell, Cowspiracy, both on Netflix mm. and Earthlings or Farm to Fridge yeah. here on YouTube. Understand the ethics behind it. And many people in the comments were pointing out that you can't just eat vegan for one day and you know, it didn't no. work for me or I mean, determine that a vegan diet isn't for you, that kind of thing. No, you know? it, it takes 21 days to change a habit, especially a lifelong habit of mm. eating animal products. Mm. Who's been doing all the talking? Show you, <laughs> Maybe I was just hungry and, Maybe. and ate faster. <laughs> All right. Speaking of some really weird, bizarre food, it's not the vegan mac and cheese you've got to be scared of. No. It's the. You um, can do this one. I'm eating breakfast. It's the it. animal products based mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So CNN uh, put out an article called What Chemicals Are in Your Mac and Cheese? We're just going to read some highlights. It's not listed on the ingredient list, but a new analysis published this week found high concentrations of the chemicals known as phthalates in the cheese powder of macaroni and cheese. Phthalates are a family of chemicals that are widely used in soaps, plastics, adhesives, rubbers, inks, and fragrances. While these, Yummy. <laughs> while these chemicals aren't intentionally added into foods, they make their way in through the manufacturing process. And according to the NIH, these chemicals are believed to be endocrine disruptors able to interfere with the body's hormonal system. They are easily absorbed by fat cells, moving from plastics into food and food into people. High levels of exposure have been linked to fertility issues for both men and women, as well as behavioral and neurodevelopmental issues in children who are exposed to them in utero. According to the National Toxicology Program, mm -hmm. the phthalate DHP is likely to cause cancer based on evidence in mice. 
a number of phthalates have been banned in children's products. And when looking at the fat alone, the powdered cheese mix had a concentration of phthalates more than four times that of the natural cheeses and more than one and a half times the amount in processed cheeses. Oh, there goes my nuts. <laughs> so I think Shelby in her video said something about, she might have referred to like vegan cheese as fake cheese or something like that. We often hear that. You don't need to worry about the fake cheese that's made from plants. You've got to worry about the real stuff that's made from animal products and, you know, these type of chemicals that can make their way into mm. the manufacturing process. And this is all in addition to the naturally occurring and potentially added mm. hormones in dairy. Uh, as well as the pus, the industrial toxins, the pesticides, the antibiotics, and more, as well as the cruelty. That's right. And it's interesting that these chemicals are banned from children's products. So, you know, they can't play with something that contains this chemical. But it's in their food. It's in their food. Mm. Ew. Okay, guys. They're all the stories on the TVC news desk this yes, week. Thank you for sending them through. Yes, we have your so many more, but this is all we could fit in today. Okay? Yeah, we'll hold some over for next time. Yeah. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you thought about any of the stories mm. we've shared today. And please uh, share this video with the YouTubers and Instagrammers that we responded to because we really want them to see this information. And go and send them some love and encouragement and support. Absolutely. And again, all the resources and links and things that are going to help them and other people Check down below. Check them out below. down below. Yes. Like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Make sure you also ding the bell and check that box so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. See you next video. Bye, guys.